No, what keeps me up at night is this new ransomware that's been out there. It's called Black Basta. And, you know, just a little disclaimer out there. I apologize if that term is offensive to anyone. It is what uh, they're calling this new ransomware. And we want to give you an overview on how nasty this thing is because it has been just tearing up the web. All right, Noah. So the first thing is we want to talk about is how it actually works and who's behind and all that kind of stuff. Now, the good news is we have a lot of information about the background of this type of ransomware and how it actually works. Can you kind of give the audience a little overview, a little background on it? Yeah, so this ransomware group, they steal corporate data and documents, and then they encrypt everything and leave behind a ransom note. So when the company comes back in, they see all their computers aren't working, uh, they have to either pay this ransom to get their computers back, or if they don't, they won't get their data back, and the ransomware group will leak all the data that they stole. Yeah. Now, this type of attack, folks, is nothing new. This is what we call a double extortion attack. So again, they're stealing your corporate data, and then they they encrypt the data, and then they hold it hostage to you. So uh, what's interesting is how this actually gets executed. There is some thoughts that the group that's behind this Black Basta ransomware is actually the Conti ransomware group. Not the first time that we've talked about these guys either. They've been in the news quite a lot. Yep, this kind of thing happens all the time where a ransomware group will break off and start up different crews or get reorganized under a different name. Yeah, so what happens with this Black Basta thing is the encryptor has to be run with administrative privileges, and once that happens, um, it will not actually encrypt files unless admin privileges are there, and it will actually go in, it will delete shadow copies, volume shadow copies, uh, it will actually go in and try to hijack a Windows service. In the example that we're going to put up on the screen right now, it's hijacking the fax service, so not a very popular service, and then once it does that, it'll actually change the wallpaper to display a message that looks something similar to this. Your network is encrypted by the Black Basta group, instructions in the readme, and as it does this, as it reboots your computer, it goes into safe mode with networking, and the next thing you know is the hijack Windows services start to encrypt all your files, and it starts changing everything to the extension of .basta, and that's where the real danger comes, folks, because it also plays with your registry. It executes some custom work on the, the Windows registry, and then you start to find all these readme files that you see up on the screen right now. Your data is stolen. It's encrypted. It will be published on the Tor site. Please pay the ransom. So pretty nasty stuff. But what's what's the story behind this Conti thing? So uh, allegedly, though, Conti is behind Black Basta? Yeah, so a lot of people think that um, part of Conti came off to create Black Basta or all of Conti or people who are associated with Conti because of the similarities. Okay. Their website is very similar to Conti's. Their payment site is very similar to Conti's. Mm. Uh, their support system for people who have been ransomware is also, I mean, basically the same. And their support people are also acting in a similar way to how Conti's did. Using the same dialogue and so on. So, yeah, this stuff's nasty, folks. And it is it has been tearing up the web lately. There's been at least 10 to 12 breaches that have been attributed to Black Basta Ransomware Group in the last, I'd say, maybe five days. So some of those breaches we're going to talk about right now. The first one that came up is this American Dental Association. Now, we did know about this last week, but we held off talking about it until we had a little bit more attribution. And now we have that attribution, and we know that Black Basta has um, claimed responsibility for the ADA cyber attack against, uh, against these people. So pretty nasty stuff. But there are some other trend lines out there still associated with Black Basta. And who are they, Noah? Because I'm hearing a lot, of, a lot more attacks happening in Germany right now. Yeah, so it looks like this group is operating a lot in Germany right now. There's also other groups operating in Germany, which kind of adds to the um, news cycle of that. We've got Lockbit, who just uh, ransomware a German library service. Okay. And then we've got Black Basta, who did a wind farm, also in Germany. Yeah, and I'll tell you, folks, this uh, this Black Basta thing is not going away anytime soon. It's actually also attributed potentially to this car rental agency called Sick. They're still waiting for more attribution on this, but as of right now, the car rental agency Sick, and this, these are guys are really popular. Have you ever used these guys? Six six S I X T rent a car. I haven't. I don't know if they're in the U.S., but they, they are, are in. 
over 110 countries. That's a ton. Yeah. And they have 2,000 locations. Yeah, I've used these guys. And I tell you, their customer service has always been really top-notch. I didn't know they were a German-owned company, though. And what they found was on April 29th, they had some suspicious activity they detected. And again, we're still, we're still wondering, like... Their, their investigation is still in the early stages, but what we're trying to figure out is exactly who is behind this. I have to tell you, though, uh, this is exactly what Security Metrics is good at. These extended networks like the rent car agencies and these businesses that have multiple locations. This is what we do very well is finding threat actors in this environment. So but, Yeah, we yeah. do a lot of managed firewalls for uh, chain locations. Yeah, we do. So.